Here's the man who positively impacts millions of people every day. And he's beaming love your way right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Santisi. This week, let's talk about something. Let's talk about how if you're not growing, you're dying energetically. Okay? Now, let's think about this. We are the same as a plant or a tree. We are always growing, reaching for the sky, and devouring information and light along the way, or we're dying, we're atrophying, and we're returning to the ground. I hear this all the time from people. Too many people, too many people get stuck on the little things in life, the hang-ups, whether it's life or in business. They let people and things that have no, that have nothing to do with their life affect how they feel about their life. And this blows my mind. Maybe this is you. Maybe you know someone like this. I know I do. I have a certain family member, we can say, okay, who who is always bent out of shape over the silliest things, okay? Everything sets him off, folks. People driving too slow. The line at the supermarket's too long. (laughs) If the weatherman says it will be sunny and he goes outside and he looks up and he sees a cloud, forget about it. Life is over in his eyes, okay? And even in conversation, if you say something that he doesn't like or that he doesn't fully understand or something something that he doesn't want to talk about because to him... Everything is this one big giant secret. Everything is this huge secret for some delusional reason. And what happens is, is he turns into an instant pain in the ass. He gets all whiny and he complains and he just, he acts like a loser, okay? Then he goes into the kitchen and he cracks open another Diet Coke or Diet Soda and then The funniest thing, he will ignore you for the rest of the day. And you're talking about a grown man here, folks. A grown man. How sad. How sad. It's it's pathetic, in my opinion. It really is. But hey, listen, to each his own, right? Absolutely. Uh, Let's see. Uh, My uncle used to be like that, too, growing up. I remember watching the Boston Red Sox in the 1980s with my uncle. And if a player missed a catch or struck out, he would snap. He would snap. He would lose it. He would yell and he would scream. He would punch the wall. And I must have seen him smash at least three televisions growing up, folks, over a game. And he was a grown man over a game acting like this. Listen. My point is, and the key is that you never want to become stagnant in life. You never want to become stagnant. You never want to develop the habit of getting hung up on the hang-ups. I mean, come on. Why let things that are completely irrelevant have any power or control over how you feel and how you treat others? Folks, there's no energetic advantage to this, to being like this. Like we said, you're either growing and expanding, moving forward and evolving energetically, or you're dying and decaying and becoming more and more useless, not only to yourself, but to those around you. And you keep going backwards energetically, pushing away the things that you do want and Keep attracting more of what you don't want. Remember, you can't always be bitching, whining, and complaining about what you don't like and thinking about what you don't want to happen and expect what you do want to come into your life. It can't, folks. It can't. You're canceling out your own expectations. You must always be expanding and clarifying your dreams and who you want to become.
to yourself. You must always be, you must always be in the state of creation and appreciation about yourself. You must always be working on and clarifying new desires, new goals, objectives, and feeling good as often as possible. Otherwise, like we just talked about, you're atrophying, you're declining, you're going backwards, and you're lowering your vibration, and you're dying, you're dying energetically and emotionally. And when this occurs, folks, you get stuck. You stop producing. You stop feeling good. You stop sleeping well at night. You experience less and less energy. You become, you become fatigued, annoyed, and agitated over the smallest things. This is when anxieties and things like depression, confusion, and starting to think negatively begin to creep into your mind. And you have to pay attention because these thoughts can take over your life before you can blink. This is when you will stop being the creator of your reality and start to become what's called a victim of circumstance. A victim of circumstance. This is when you'll begin to blame outside circumstances for why your life sucks. Okay, I have to calm down. Look. Sometimes I know, I know sometimes I get fired up, okay? And I wouldn't get so passionate if I didn't care as much as I do about everyone. Because listen, 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 listen. I know that we all have the potential and the power to release our own greatness. And like I've said many times, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything with this information. I am not a guru, okay? I am not a motivational speaker. I am not looking for a pat on the back, okay? I am simply someone who only speaks from personal, real life experience. And I am so grateful that I learned this knowledge from my mentors. And I feel that it's my, I feel that it's my duty as a fellow human being to share this powerful knowledge with you so you can apply it in your life and you can take 100% control over your life for the rest of your life, folks. So, I apologize in advance if I step on anyone's toes with how I express myself at times because this show, today's show, this topic is a topic that everyone needs to hear about. Remember this. You know what? Write this down. Write this down. Do you want a breakthrough moment right now? Do you want a breakthrough? Let's do it. Okay, here it is. Write this down. No one, no one can make you feel bad unless you let them make you feel bad. Who? Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Right there. So the key is to always be teachable. Always be in a state of expanding your dreams and always be in a state of expanding your desires. Always work on feeling better. Appreciate yourself and appreciate the fact that you are alive in this moment. You're alive. Always observe and always be moving forward in all areas of your life by being open to learn and to apply new ways of thinking. Remember this too, no one can ever take away your ability to create. Your thoughts, folks, your thoughts only belong to you. So use them to your advantage. Use your thoughts to your advantage. Turn your back on the small things and do not give the small stuff any attention. When you do, you're giving it energetic power and more like-minded thoughts will follow. Okay, let's end this video here. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and comment, 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 comment away. And let us know how this video made you feel. Also, share this video with someone that you know that may need to hear this message. I'm Paul Santizi. Thank you for watching, and we will be back next week with another great show. Until then, folks, 
keep being you and keep being great. You know I love ya. Bye-bye.